This is actually a repost from my second channel. Just so you know, I have a second channel and it posts stuff like this. So if you'd like this, go over and check it out. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of my videos. Stay shiny. When asked who won the space race, we in the West tend to jump straight to the obvious answer. Us, specifically the United States of America. But considering for a moment Soviet space achievements such as Yogi Garden and Sputnik 1, are we correct to think that? No one was really keeping score. So in this week's Extra Elysium, we intend to do just that. The space race was a larger result of captured German rocket technology at the end of the Second World War, which gave way to the Cold War between the USA and the USSR. These two powers would then spend the next few decades locked in a scientific and engineering competition for supremacy of space. To determine who won, we'll be using an arbitrary point system with some general rules. Firstly, major achievements get five points. These include... First orbit, first man landing, first soft landing, and first man soft landing. Soft landing means you don't destroy the craft in the process, by the way. Secondly, minor achievements get one point. Minor achievements include entering the sphere of influence of a body and impacting into a body, so a hard landing, in other words. To count, the probe must report back and the manned crew of a mission must return back to Earth. If you achieve a goal by accident, you'll be rewarded at the tier below, so five points becomes one, one point becomes none. And as with most competitions with two participants, there are no points for second place. Clear on the rules, then let's start. Most people agree that the space race took place between 1955 and July of 1975. So we'll start and end the race then. 1955 is a good place to start as any because it's when both of the nations involved declared that they were going to launch satellites after the USSR turned down the USA's proposal to allow them to fly reconnaissance planes over the USSR. Somewhat understandably. It should be noted, however, that the first pictures from space were actually taken in 1946 by the US. However, they were using German personnel and a repurposed German V-2 rocket, so you can hardly call that a US achievement. 1957, the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, launched by the USSR, orbits the Earth, five points to the USSR, although it should be noted that Sputnik 1 was a very limited and light probe, having been massively downgraded so that they could get it into orbit earlier in an intent to beat the Americans there. 1957 also saw the first animal in space, with a Laika on board Sputnik 2. Unfortunately, Laika didn't live very long and died shortly after launch due to overheating. We won't award any points for this, partly because animal cruelty and partly because, well, we're awarding points for humans. Animals are really just guinea pigs for humans in space. And finally for 1957, Sputnik 3 gets into space, launched by the USSR. Sputnik 3 would have likely been the same package that Sputnik 1 was carrying had Sputnik 1 not been downgraded at the last minute. 1958, and the US finally get their first satellite into orbit with Explorer 1. However, we won't be awarding many points because they were beaten to it. 1959, and the USSR's probe, Luna 1, destined to impact the lunar surface, actually misses, briefly entering the lunar sphere of influence before ending up in orbit around the sun. One point for the lunar sphere of influence, five points downgraded to one for ending up in orbit around the sun since it wasn't actually meant to be there, and no points to the sun sphere of influence downgraded from one because, again, it wasn't meant to be there. Luna 2 then impacts the lunar surface, getting the USSR a lower point, and Luna 3 takes the first pictures of the dark side of the moon. The dark side of the moon! Getting the USSR another point. 1960 and NASA, in conjunction with the DoD, successfully launch Pioneer 5 into solar orbit. How this gets some no points as Luna 1, albeit accidentally, ended up there last year. 1960 also saw the Nedlin disaster, the largest ever rocket disaster which killed up to 150, including many of the top Soviet rocket scientists and engineers. While on the launch pad, the second stage of a prototype Soviet rocket ignited, detonating the lower fully fueled stage. The rocket in question used a hypergolic fuel combination of unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine and dinitrogen tetroxide. Hypergolic means that the fuel spontaneously ignite when they come into contact. If you actually want to learn more about the basics of rocketry and the fuels involved, I would recommend Reactions video on it, uh, link below. The detonation of the rocket caused a massive fireball, however just as deadly was the toxic oxidizer, dinitrogen tetroxide. This tragedy resulted in a massive setback for the Soviet space program. 1961. During 1961, the USSR probe Venera 1, designed to perform a flyby of Venus, actually succeeded. However, they had lost contact with it shortly after launch, and thus it does not count. 1961 also saw the Soviet Union launch and retrieve Yuri Gagarin, successfully aboard Vostok 1. He became the first human to actually orbit the Earth, and the first human in space, for which he gets five and one point respectively. It should be noted that Vostok 1 was actually flown entirely by remote, although it doesn't actually have a bearing on the scientific or engineering achievement behind it, and Yuri Gagarin actually parachuted out before landing, just to make sure that he was safe. 
Just under a month later, Alan Shepard in Mercury 7 managed to be the second person in space. However, beaten by Yuri Gagarin less than a month earlier, he scores no points. 1962, John Glenn of the US becomes the second person to orbit the Earth. However, again, beaten by Yuri Gagarin the year earlier, he scores no points. However, 62 also sees the US probe of Mariner 2 perform a successful flyby of Venus, gaining the US one point, and an additional one point for being the first planetary encounter. 1963, and the USSR get the first woman in space. 1964, and a three-person crew from the USSR successfully orbits the Earth. 1965, Alexei Leonov of the USSR becomes the first person to walk in space and ends up having to vent his own spacesuit into space to fit back into the capsule. One point does not describe how brave or insane you would have to be to do that, but that's what he gets. The USA pull back a point with the first Martian flyby by Marina 4. In December the same year, the US pulls off the world's first orbital rendezvous with Gemini 6 and Gemini 7, managing to get within 30 centimeters of each other and maintain a distance for 20 minutes. One point. 1966, in February after many attempts, the USSR finally succeeds in a soft lunar landing, gaining them five points. However, the US have not been sitting idle, and Gemini 8 performs the world's first orbital docking. One point. The USSR strike back mere weeks later, however, with the world's first orbit of the moon, gaining them five points. At the end of May, the US managed their first soft landing on the moon, However, beaten to it early in the year by the USSR, they gained no points for that one. 1967, and three NASA astronauts die in a launch pad fire, later renamed Apollo 1. The US planned schedule for a lunar landing is set back by over a year, while the capture is significantly redesigned. Meanwhile, the USSR gained a point for the atmospheric probe of Venus by Venera 4. 1968, and the USSR managed their first orbital rendezvous with the Soyuz 2 and Soyuz 3 craft. However, by now it is pretty apparent how far behind the Soviet space program has become. Later that year, Apollo 8, with its crew of three, managed the world's first manned orbit around the moon, getting five points for that, and an additional point for being the first humans past low Earth orbit. 1969, and Apollo 11 lands on the moon. Five points for that, one point for being the first humans to set foot on an extraterrestrial body, and one small step for man. 1970, and Apollo 13 narrowly makes it back to the Earth after having problems en route to land on the Moon. The USSR claw back five points, however, with Venera 7 landing on Venus, if only transmitting for 23 minutes before going offline. 1971, and Salyut 1, the first space station in orbit, is launched. However, the first crew could not actually inhabit it due to docking issues, and the second crew actually managed to dock and live there for 23 days before returning to Earth. However, due to an accident with the craft, it depressurized before it actually made it back to Earth's atmosphere, and the crew died, becoming the first and only people to ever die outside of Earth's atmosphere. Unfortunately, because the main purpose of the space station is to be inhabited, and it wasn't successfully inhabited, the USSR gained no points for this. Meanwhile, the USA achieved the first orbit around another planet that is not Earth, with the Mariner 9 probe orbiting around Mars successfully. Five points for that, and an additional point for the first non-Earth orbit. Sadly for the USSR, their own Martian probes destined to orbit around Mars arrived two weeks later. Bad at Russia. 1972 passed by without incident, however 1973 sees the launch of Salyut 2, the second attempt at a space station by Russia, however it quickly depressurizes and loses altitude. Meanwhile the US launch and successfully crew the Skylab space station, one point for successfully crewing a space station. And also the US probe Pioneer 10 successfully flies by Jupiter, netting the US another point. 1974, and we have the Mariner 10 spacecraft fly by Mercury at an incredibly close range of 700 kilometers. However, next year it will impact half that. One point for the sphere of influence. 1975 sees the joint Apollo Soyuz test project, a joint flight between the USSR and the USA. It sees the docking of Apollo and Soyuz spacecraft. This marks the end of the space race amid thawing of US USSR relations. No points, but good sportsmanship after the match is always appreciated. However, it should be noted that the USSR missed out on a whopping five points with the orbit of Venus by the Venera 9 spacecraft in October of the same year. After this period, the race against each other for domination of space lessened, and the crumbling of the USSR's power base started to mark the end of the Cold War. Now, while this end date is fairly arbitrary, you could argue that USA won by being the sole contender left standing. However, you could equally argue that Russia won, since after transitioning from the USSR, they are now the only operators of manned spacecraft to the International Space Station. So let's total up the scores. While that's closer than I thought, despite an early lead by the USSR, the USA managed to pull it back at the last minute, almost managing a draw. The final scores are 26-32. Although considering the relatively arbitrary nature of the points system, 
Well, technically it's a month of SSR, it's debatable as to whether it's a draw. I'll leave that one up to you to discuss it in the comments. I've been Extralysium, and stay shiny.